BMTM. Welcome to another BMTM Sports Update. I'm Daniel Lopez. And I'm Giorgio. El Clasico, depending on the viewer, may have been a disappointment, but it also could have been a very entertaining and fulfilling matchup that game. Barcelona destroy Real Madrid 4 to nothing. Suarez scores two goals, Neymar scores one, and Iniesta just scores a banger. This game, that game was very saddening for the Real Madrid fans. I thought Real Madrid was going to win, but I, in, the other, in the other idea of mine, since uh, Sevilla bet Real Madrid 3 nothing, I felt like Real Madrid had no chance against Barcelona on uh, that day, but I got to say, Real Madrid's defense was really bad. Varane with bad, didn't even know where he was. Like, he was like daydreaming the whole time. And uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid with this undefeated streak at home is now broken by Barcelona. Final score was 4 nothing, And uh, Neymar was doing really well in that game. I swear he got uh, he two goal. goals with an assist. He had a goal and an, an assist, I think. But Suarez was the one that got two goals. But yeah, and, uh, uh, thank when, God I didn't watch that game. When Iniesta like got substituted, even Real Madrid fans started to clap for him. So that this is a sign there. Also, the Real Madrid ha- uh, fans also brought out a white handkerchief and started uh, waving it to uh, Real Madrid's coach. The Leafs lost two nothing on Saturday against rivals Boston Bruins. It was a nothing nothing game and throughout the whole game until Ziet- Zidane Chara blasts one with four minutes left. That was a rocket from Chara. Yeah, it was, and uh, you know. It was a pretty good game all around. No score, you know, very rare you find a game like that. And it wasn't until, like, the last four minutes where Zidane Char had all the time and space in the world. And, you know, he's not going to miss that from there. And I'm pretty sure everyone knew it was, it was over when he was winding up. In the same night, Brad Markan scored the empty netter with under a minute left. And that was it for the Leafs. I, I think if uh, there was still time left and it was still one nothing, I think the Leafs would have had a chance to score because their attack has been doing really well these past games. Yeah, they're definitely playing a system game. They have no one to rely on, no superstars. So it's all system. It's all Mike Babcock's system. And you know what? They have they still have another chance at, at the Boston Bruins tonight at 7.30. They host Boston Bruins in the ACC. So you can tune into that, and uh, maybe the Leafs can uh, get a win and uh, regain those two points. Okay. The Raptors defend Blake Griffin and the Clippers. They held the Clippers to just 80 points, while Demary Carroll and DeMar DeRozan led the way for the Raps. Final score was 91-80. to 80. Uh, Georgia, what do you think of that game? I think that was a good game. I mean, I think the Raptors finally opened up their eyes. It's it's been a very average road trip for the for the Raptors. Uh, they've been out in the West Coast for a long quite a bit quite a bit now. They head home soon, but uh, yeah, this this date against the Clippers was uh, was a good one. They ended up winning. I think they're seven and three or seven and four. I'm not. Sh- 100% sure. I forgot to check the standings. Raptors did really well in this game, but uh, I don't remember which quarter it was, but in one of the quarters, they were winning by 20 points, and they ended up almost uh, losing those points with the LA Clippers ahead. Yeah, but they, then, shortened uh, it. they shortened it to 10 points. But uh, that was. Uh, but you know, it was a good game nonetheless. The Raptors will certainly take it, and it was a well deserved win. Chelsea defeat Norwich City. Finally with a win. The game had a lot of missed calls by the ref. And also plenty of mediocre defending by Chelsea. They only beat Norwich one to nothing. I mean, Daniel. I mean, is this a, like Diego Costa finally broke his scoring streak, his scoring drought? But you know what? What do you think happened here? I mean, Chelsea only defeating Norwich uh, one nothing. I think uh, there needs to be a bigger lead than that. I uh, heard that there's some assistant coach that's helping out uh, Mourinho here, and I thought I would never see that. But uh, it seems Chelsea's gonna need all the help they can get now. It was only one nothing against Norwich City. I'm surprised they even won, but uh, <laughs> yeah. there was a lot of uh, a lot of goals. There were they had a lot of chances Chelsea to score more goals, but it was only one nothing the final score against Norwich City. But I think uh, Chelsea still's got to they still have to play more and very more. Maybe yeah. it's only a matter of time. I I don't think they'll finish uh, this this low into no, the standings. No, I don't think so either. But they're but it seems like they're gonna uh, start heading coming back to the old Chelsea. Here, yeah. The BMTM Royals are traveling to North Toronto Arena to face Marshall McLuhan. Today, the game is at 2.45. Might want to tune in for that one. It's going to be a game. Yeah, I mean, uh, BMTM's hockey team, the goalie got suspended after his hearing three games. So there's, there is there will be a backup goalie, and, you know, this is this is not a time for that. We're, we're facing... Talking about that, Giorgio. The, the teams up ahead are going to be one of the best teams in the, the division. So, you know, we're going to have to play hard, you know, play smart, play to a system, and keep true to that system. It's also going to be a very hard matchup. I mean, 
Do you think you guys will win? You know, I, I don't think we're going to win. But I think uh, we're going to try and keep it as close as possible. I mean, that's 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 our motto, I guess. We're 0-4. And, uh, you know, it's... We're we're not one of the talented teams. We lost a lot of our talent. They, Bishop they Morocco's graduated. hockey team, 0 and 4, and they're saying they might win today's game against Marshall McLuhan, no. one of the best in the league. I'm not gonna say we might win, but uh, you know Marshall McLuhan's a very talented team, and you know we lost pl- a lot of our talent, and uh, you know our goal, a very talented goalie, is, is unfortunately suspended. So we're gonna have to deal with a backup goaltender in that one. Tune in for the next episode. Well, I will be bantering about their hockey team. The BMTM swim team had a very successful swim meet held here at our own pool on Friday. We gathered a total of 77 ribbons, and the senior relay team came in first place in the 200 medley relay and free, re- free relay, beating Bishop Allen and Michael Power. Don't forget, BMTM, a big day in the playroom as uh, Century Sams versus Boyle and Friends to the, today. We will have footage for that game. Don't forget to tune in. and. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're also going to try and have uh, be, uh, the Royals hockey team game footage and the playroom footage against uh, Century Sams and Boyle and Friends. Big game. So that's it for today, BM Tim. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. (laughs) 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 (laughs)